there, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your Leo Plus Sagittarius love reading for the month of July. Time is fluid and this reading can resonate for anyone with Leo placements and Sagittarius placements. I have Leo over here and Sagittarius on this side. For some of you, the reading can resonate backwards, reverse flipped. And if you are looking for a different sign, check the channel. It may be out already. If it's not, ring that bell so you are alerted when the sign you're looking for's reading gets released. So let's get started. We're doing feelings, actions, oracle, outcome for July. Spirit, please show me Leo's feelings for Sag and Sagittarius feelings for Leo. Show me Leo's feelings for Sagittarius and Sagittarius feelings for Leo. All right, Leo, your feelings are the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Sagittarius feelings for you are the Nine of Swords, Temperance, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, Leo, I definitely feel like you want to work on things with Sagittarius here. I do feel like you are in a position of wanting to have stability with Sagittarius, you want to have healing, and it does look like you're interested in putting some sort of effort into this connection to see it grow, to see it move forward, and to see it heal. Sagittarius is a Nine of Swords, Temperance, and the Queen of Swords. So Sagittarius does want to heal with you. They do want to make peace with you. But they're really stressing out over it. They're not showing that on the surface with the Queen of Swords. They're acting like they don't care. They're acting like they're not stressing out over anything. But they are overthinking something in this connection here. I don't know if there's distance involved between the two of you. And that's what's causing stress. But there definitely looks like there is stress here on Sagittarius and that they're not necessarily showing they also are not in a position of wanting to show you their feelings either. I feel like you both aren't really wanting to show too much feelings, despite you two having them on a certain level. Why is the Queen of Swords here in Sagittarius feelings? Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups. So I feel like they want happiness with you or some sort of healing, but they don't know how to go about it. They're acting very distant from you emotionally, and it's because they're stressing. So, I don't know if you two share a family with each other, or there's family dynamics influencing this connection, but Sagittarius is very confused on how to have this happiness with you. So, let's see what the actions will be. Leo's actions towards Sagittarius. Hello, too many cards. And Sagittarius actions towards Leo. So your actions are the Magician, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Again, Sagittarius actions towards you are the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So Sagittarius is definitely coming out of Hermit mode. Some of you are very interested in movement forward with Sagittarius and you've been waiting for Sagittarius to come in with these offers, a lot of you are getting finally what you've been waiting for here. Ten of Swords, you finally feel like that waiting period is over. Um, a lot of you as Sagittarius is definitely coming out of, the out of the shadows. Some of you, this could be a newer Sagittarius that really helps you heal and really aids in healing. There could be a very high possibility that this Sagittarius has just been single for quite some time. It doesn't mean that you two were actually in something that was distant. Others of you, yes. But I definitely see a new start being ignited here for you and a Sagittarius, whether they are a fully new person or there's just a new cycle or new start being blossomed here between you and your Sagittarius. It's definitely showing that you feel like things are moving forward. You're interested in moving forward for sure. Some of you definitely feel like this new Sagittarius is going to help you move on from your past and heal. Others of you, you're just feeling good that there is finally some sort of movement with this Sagittarius. There are definitely going to be a breakthrough in communication with this person after a bit of distance. Show me the clarification for Leo's actions 
King of Wands, King of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've been pretty indecisive about where this situation is going. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you're finally getting something that you've been waiting for. The Fool, that new beginning, the Four of Cups that you've been feeling a bit rejected by is finally coming the eight of cups to the lovers so there definitely looks like there's reconciliation here i don't know if you've been waiting for this sagittarius or just been waiting for new love and this sagittarius is the newer person ace of swords on their side queen of wands very attracted towards you the devil two of swords and the knight of pentacles there is a very high possibility that Sagittarius has been going slow and you've been waiting for this new energy from them. Others of you, this is definitely just a love energy that you've been waiting for. I feel a very extremely strong attraction between the two of you. King of Wands over here, Queen of Wands on their side. Yes, you are both fire signs, but it definitely looks like you two are going to feel that sense of compatibility with each other. And... If you've been waiting on a Sagittarius, I definitely see them coming around. So let's look at the outcome between the two of you and see where this is headed. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, effort being put into growing this situation. Two of Cups into coupling up together or recoupling up together. I definitely feel like <clears throat> this Sagittarius is either newly single or I'm not, not newly single, but they have been single for quite some time. Or you two have been a bit separated and distant for quite some time. It could be emotional. It could be physical. It could be mental. Whatever the case may be. There definitely was distance between you and this Sagittarius for a while. If this is somebody that you already know. Let's see, if this is the Sagittarius they already know, what do you want Leo to know? If this is a Sag you already know, death, there was an ending, Queen of Wands, they're still attracted towards you, the lovers, they want reconciliation. If this is a new Sagittarius, what do you want Leo to know? Three of Pentacles, they're going to feel like they're easy to work with. They may be at your job, Three of Pentacles, Page of Wands, a Magician. Some of you may meet this person from another person or from some sort of social media site and or online. But if this is of Sagittarius, you already know there was definitely some sort of ending or major change. They are still very attracted towards your energy. It's like very hard for them to forget you. And I feel like they're coming in for reconciliation here with the lovers and if this is a new Sagittarius, you definitely are meeting this person from something else, whether it be work, school, online, through friends, family, whatever the case may be. Um, but definitely manifestation mode there with the magician. And you do have the magician over there. So some of you definitely manifested in this new Sagittarius. I do feel like for some of you strongly, they could be new with the double aces they received as their actions towards you. So in terms of zodiac signs that are also in the spread that could be in your chart, we have Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Aries, and Capricorn, Virgo. So let's get some Oracle on this. Two for Leo and two for Capricorn. The outcome is definitely working on this connection with offers to level up towards a relationship or recoupling. So Leo, you have offer and regret. So there is a very high possibility this Sagittarius has regrets towards this ending and they now have an offer. Some of you Leos, you may feel like, what do I do with this offer? Maybe you don't want to regret letting this person back in or opening up to new love, but an offer is definitely on the table for you there. Two for Sagittarius. Sagittarius has third party and purge. So some of you, they were in a third party situation and they are purging this out to come in back towards you to recouple. Some of you, that may be why you have regret. You don't want to make the wrong choice letting this person back in. Others of you, this person is definitely single. They were definitely in difficult situations in their past. And this person is looking at you as somebody who's going to help them release 
people that they dated in the past. So let's get the relationship oracle for the two of you. This is for Sagittarius and Leo connections. All right, and we have abundance, card number eight. The energy of abundance activates our ability to manifest the wealth we need and the sense of fulfillment that comes from a heart and soul that are overflowing with love and gratitude. Yeah, I do feel with these offers on the table, it does feel abundant, whether it is a new person or somebody you're already aware of. And Divine Masculine, card 17. So some of you definitely feel like you are the Divine Masculine to this Sag or this Sag is the Divine Masculine to you. Either way, it does look like there is a very strong energy of a union or a connection here with a Sagittarius coming into fruition or reuniting. So thank you, my beautiful Leos, for being here and for watching. If this reading resonated to you, do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and ring that bell if you have not already. And I hope each and every one of you have an awesome rest of your week whenever you are watching this. And I'll see and talk to all of my Leos very, very soon. Sagittarius, if you're here as well, sending my love to you too. Have a good one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye now.